Welcome to the show, folks. This is Catfish Kyle. We here in Middle Georgia on the Oconee River. It's a Friday morning, beautiful morning, about seven o'clock. It's a lot of overcast, so I think it's going to be a good day fishing. I want to show you my setups today. Fishing for some something big here with the uh, bluegill head cut bait on the bottom. Uh, this is the rig you watched last week's show. You remember we caught the big flathead on this rig. Uh, we're gonna have a have a float on it. We got a body piece there. Notice I knocked all the scale a lot of the scales off up top to get a little bit more scent out into the water. And uh, we're gonna see if we can hook up with something uh, something nice as far as catfish go. Probably gonna let the big catfish go today, but we're also gonna be fishing for some brim, some smaller fish as well. If we catch some good eater size, I may keep them. Uh, I'd love to have some smaller fish to eat. Uh, but man, I'm excited. Let's go fishing. Trying to get in the boat with me, y'all. You got to go on, dude. You got to go on, dude. Oh, water snake. They come right to your boats. Maybe he won't try to get in here. We'll see. What do we got here, y'all? I think it might be a... Oh, he let go. I think it was a mudfish. Y'all, the fishing has been horrible. I have had nothing but gar. It's already uh, 1039. I've had nothing but gar, and I think that was a mudfish. I don't know what the deal is. The river dropped a lot, but the catfish are not doing anything. I think, I think the spawn is on, and the only catfish you're going to catch will be smaller ones ones that hadn't hit puberty yet, you know. So I'm gonna come up here in the creek and just see if I can get on some brim or something. Uh, try something. Y'all, I believe we got another mudfish, bowfin, whatever you wanna call it, messing with it here. Try to catch him so we can catch something. Ah, missed him. Could be gar, who knows? Could be an old sorry gar. It's been the worst day fishing. Ah, this has been the worst day fishing, y'all. I've had in a long, long, long time. I mean a long time. I need your pity. I really need your pity, folks. Because this is some bad, bad fishing. I'm getting a bite on some cup bait out here. Come way up here. Oh, you know what it was? A stinking mud fish. Golly. He had took my line all the way up here to the boat just about when I tried to set the hook. Nothing happened. I don't know y'all, this is bad fishing. I mean bad. Ha! Ah, something about that whole head. It's got to be gar and mudfish. They're driving me nuts, y'all. They're driving me crazy. Oh, gone it! Ah! Come off again. Come off again, y'all. The thing is, I got catfish hooks on here, and they ain't hooking these mudfish. Your mouth's different. I put a smaller hook on this other one. Maybe that'll help us get a hook up. I don't know. Here's another one, y'all. Ah. Oh, look at this one. This one's going crazy over here. This is what happens when you get into the gar. When you get into the gar, your bait can't stay down there long enough for a catfish to find it. And everywhere I've went today, the only thing that I've had hit it 
is gar and mudfish. And I think what's got me right now is gar. They are hard to hook with these hooks I'm using. See, he pulled it. He had it in his beak there. He ran with it, and when he felt all that resistance, he let go. There wasn't a hook in him. All he did was he had a hold of it with his mouth. That's a gar. All day long, that's a gar. They're going to drive me crazy. Chewing that bait all to pieces. I mean all to pieces. We might be hooked up, y'all. We might finally be hooked up with something. He's wrapped up. I can feel him wrapped up. I'm in some swift water, real swift. It feels like a good fish. It feels like a good fish, but I can't tell if he's wrapped up maybe in something. I believe he's wrapped up on something. I'm going to have to see if he'll get off. This is real. I knew it was a spot where I could get hung up. It's roots and everything everywhere, but to tell you what, I just I didn't have much of a choice today. It wasn't nothing happening. Yeah, he got me hung. I don't know if he's still on there or not. That was probably a good catfish there. Just gonna sit here for a minute and see if he, see if he's on there. See if he's just wrapped up. Not getting any movement at all right now. He may have got off a he felt like he was hung up down there. I'll give him a second just in case. Getting another hitch, y'all. I don't know if it's a... I broke that other one off and moved on down river. Set up here. Got a headpiece on. I don't know, could be another guard.